Cena, who I do not like, but he is very articulate and he has a a, a good you know he's a good role model and 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 representative of the company. Why do you and hate so, Cena? What did, what, did, what was there? Well, what, I, what I don't like about Cena is number one, uh, the couple times that I have met him, he was a dick. Uh, number two. Uh, I just get sick of them always uh, shoving down our throat. And I had a big discussion with Gregory Sugar Shame, good friend of mine, Helms on this. He disagrees with me. It's like, oh, you know, he just made his 300 to make a wish. And he just was, uh, you know, breast cancer. For There's a lot of guys. And I'll start with Ray Mysterio, who does the make a wish shit. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people. But it, it's seen as gimmick now. It's like they act like seen is the only one. Right, like he's the only one. And then like yeah. when they have the shit like for uh, – for the support our troops, you know yeah. he's always the guy that's going out there representing the troops. Motherfucker, you weren't even in the military, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. So, and he has that gimmick of the marine thing. It's just the too much, you know. It's just too much scene. It's just like now, motherfucker's been out. I don't know, like three months or some shit. Dude, Not even it's like two months. If that. Don't tag the fuck out of Bella every <laughs> night. Freak the bitch. You know, and have fun and live life. Drive your fucking cars. No, I got to run back, you know, in yeah. record time. You know, yeah. and now we get all these little fucking Cena things of, of when he was a little kid and how he grew up. <laughs> it's like, give me a fucking break. There had been like Jack 12 of, there had been like 12 of them between Raw and SmackDown this week. And it's like, all right, by now, by the signal like he's time, new. he's coming back. It's like I he mean, just debuted. Like, he needs to push or something. Like, really? Right. It's Ridiculous, you know, because he, he this, this is what I always think, and I have this problem in my promotion. It's like this guy's been your top star for like eight years or whatever, ten years. I mean, he has carried the company. I'll give him his props. He's done, bro. He's done. You can't make him any bigger than he is. I mean, that's like, can you make Peyton Manning any bigger than he is? Like, no. wh- where do you guys live? What city are you guys in? I'm Atlanta. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm originally from New York, though. Yeah. All right. So, like, you know, being in Atlanta is, I mean, uh, somebody, let me think of somebody from Atlanta. You know, can, can I mean, in Atlanta, I'm sure, like, Chipper Jones and John yeah. Smoltz and, yeah. and fucking now Matt Ryan, they're huge stars. You know, you yeah. don't need yeah. to. They're, you, you already did your job. You, now make yeah. somebody else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. The and then they don't, and they don't bother, and nobody else is on right, Cena's level. Make somebody else, man. He's the only big draw that they have. Make him bigger. Make CM Punk as big as you made Cena. Now you have, instead of one mega superstar, you got two mega superstars. And now you can make a third mega superstar. There's, you know, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't need the belt. He doesn't need always to be pushed. He doesn't always have to be on every. It's like, I just think I'm just like, uh, you know, I'll give you an example. It's like, and I'm sure this has happened to you. Have you ever seen like a show or an artist or a singer or a rapper or whatever that when they yeah. first started, you were with them and you were like, oh, this guy's going to be good. And then yeah. after a while, you're like, uh, oh, my God. Not yeah, this so many, so explained, many, so many. You've explained Johnny Landon and the Eminem recently. That, that's I, no, no, there's so many, there's so many yeah. rappers and, and stuff like that, musicians in general that I, I'm into in the beginning. And then it's just by the end. And I was like that with Cena. When I was a teenager, Cena was my favorite. And then by like 06... It was just like all downhill, and he just completely became lame, and he's been, had the same gimmick for the past eight years or whatever. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey, let's face it. The only reason he's coming back tonight is because they, they made the Cena shirt, and they're trying to sell these, you know, Rise Above Cancer shirts, and so they need to have him wearing it on TV so that they could sell more of it. I think that's their logic, because it, it, it has no place on the card. T-shirt in sales, I guess. Yeah. yeah. No, worse would be if he came back and won it. Does he really need it? I think he will win because I think like they're gonna have him break Flair's record at this rate. He's already like a 15-time champion, 